Go! Spooky. I'm just getting weird. Hello and good day, my shining stars. I'm Trey, an independent artist, and today we're going to go over goals. Goals, 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 goals are for the win. And so I here have here right here my schedule book. I'm trying to be more organized. And so <laughs> I had to make this little book for myself to keep myself on track. So for this year, the tiger, this is the cover. And so first up with goals. I start with the big picture, the grand design, the overall structure of where I want to be. So I have my projects that I want to get done. So for me, primarily, I want to make books and I like to make art that I could one day show in a gallery. So this is my big picture. Right. This is the things I want to make. Liz Hendry, Moon Princess, children's book, gallery shows, and Beautiful Beast Kiss collection. So this is the big picture, the stuff I want to get done over the course of my life. Tall order, yes, but I think it's pretty cool. So we break that down, the big picture, into projects. And the projects will then feed the big picture. So for me, if I want to make books, Willis Henry books, Beautiful Beast Kiss books, and the gallery show for legends, monsters, and myths, I break that down, right? So for, let's say, the legends, monsters, and myths project, a 12, 12 picture set I think would be about what a what it would take for a gallery show. So I think, okay, what of what would be those twelve pictures that I would want to make? And so I have the start of that list right here. And I think the hardest part is getting the first three. Right? Once you get the first three, then you know, okay, just keep pushing it. But the first three, I want to go. So for that twelve picture set, say Baba Yaga. Tengu because I think they're cool and the Tengu is a Japanese long-nosed bird monster well I wouldn't say monster spirit god monster uh, Perseus maybe holding the head of uh, the Gorgon I think that would be kind of cool as a, an illustration uh, is it Perseus or Theseus that fought the Gorgon I'll figure that out. <laughs> uh, Minamoto no Yoshitsune, who he's also associated with Tengu's. Maybe I was reading that story and that's where the, I, I want to do this picture. Uh, dragons, dragons are cool. So, you know, just getting an idea. And this is the projects that would then go on to feed the bigger picture. So over the course of the year, this is you know, some of the projects I want to get started moving towards that direction, right? Now, the most important part of goals and big goal planning is my daily schedule. Do your dailies, do your dailies, do your dailies, do your dailies. That's what I always tell myself. This is the building blocks for further everything, you know? For making projects and those projects feed your bigger long-term goals so I break my day my daily schedule into morning afternoon and evening and then after 8 is usually the cutoff no more work get something to eat rest relax and then prepare for the next day all heavy lifting I try to put into the morning when I'm the most fresh it's when I'm the sharpest and then from there your energy's high and then it slowly starts to decrease 
So the morning is the best time for the biggest, most important thing that you want to get done. All right. So that is how I, I structure that. So on my daily schedule, I have 7 a.m. rise and shine, 7 to 9, I do a little, little workout where I try to get my, my energy and my creativeness up. And then after nine, that's when I really start to kick it into gear. Whatever the project I wanna get done the most or is the most important, I, I will start to work on that. And then from that until about lunchtime is when I'm the most productive. And so around lunchtime, there's the workout to keep the body situation fit, fit enough, I guess. <laughs> and then noontime, I do language studies to keep my, my mental sharp. And then lunchtime, afternoon is when I start my watercolors. Watercolors is, for me, the time where I, I zone out and astro travel. It is the most relaxing, the most zen I get part of my day, I guess. And watercolor just does that for me. And so when I work on that from, you know, the start of the afternoon. But I also, depending on what, what's on, on tap, what's on the boards, I also throw in some drawing, some inkling, and that's usually when I film my videos where the lights, for me, the best. The best lighting situation for making videos and so i do that and then the bonus time is around five o'clock now five o'clock my energy is starting to dip you have just put in a full day good job you but your energy isn't going to be nearly as great as it was in the morning so i start to then do the smaller projects the things that I like to do or are more fun more fun passion projects and studying to build upon uh, your learning your creativity you know to help the other other portions of your day so for Willis Henry I'm trying to learn blender which is a 3d program because I'd like to make sets that I could then turn around and manipulate I think that would be kind of cool to learn and I, uh, some six o'clock, I try to do uh, digital landscapes to try to, you know, figure that part out uh, of my I'm kind of weekend uh, landscapes. Characters are my, my favorite or the thing I do the easiest and most often. So landscapes, I want to study that. And 6.30 is video production for making videos for YouTube. I, I take all the films that I did in the afternoon take that into computer, and then I start to manipulate that to what will become videos for the channel. And of course, eight o'clock, shut off, relax, and enjoy life. I have also made a project list for YouTube because last year was not very good productivity-wise for the channel, and I'd like to get back into you know a better rhythm so I'm going to be doing two videos a month and then alternating between say a time last video, which will be Beautiful Beast Kiss, as I try to learn digital painting uh, using Clip Studio Paint. So I'm using her as a test in the year of the tiger. She's a tiger girl, so I thought that'd be good. Have a time last video. And then the other one would be a talking video like you're hearing right now where I go into process and tutorials and I have my favorite art books. I'd like to do a video on that. So you know, this is how I want the videos to come out. I have, these are concepts for So watercolor, I just did Moon Princess. That should be up soon. New Moon Phase, the story is gonna be a special project for later in the year. I'm thinking about October, November. Legends, Monsters and Myths, I'd like to get at least three. Look, yeah, we'll start with three. So of this list, I'll try to you know, get three on. And so this is just an idea for me to improve and get better process of making videos. So this is my plan, right? Goals are very important. This is from 
the ones previous. This is like my third year of making a schedule or a project list to help me be better. So I hope this video about goals has helped you as I try to help myself, you know, get organized and all of that. So keep shining and I will see you on the next video. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh.